Um, this is officially my first full day in Japan. And I'm gonna be explaining why, what exactly I'm doing in Japan. Staying at my cousin's place, um, he sleeps with one pillow. I know a lot of people have judged me in the past for two pillows, so one pillow, one blanket. Um, he has a turtle that is really pissing me off in the morning. Um, after he takes a shower, I'm gonna go get breakfast and figure out what I'm gonna do with my day. Okay, so it's almost 10 a.m. here in Japan, and I'm outside this building. Uh, I'm on the sixth floor in Harajuku, and I got myself a Starbucks matcha latte. It actually tastes really, really good. Um, gonna be answering a few emails, so probably won't film myself doing that, but really excited. Um, and I'll like gradually explain why I'm in Japan um, throughout the course of this vlog. That's the number one marble noodle with rice for free. So that was the first time I ever tried like Chinese food, I think, in Japan. And for the most part, it was really, really good. Except I put like black vinegar. And now my stomach's really upset. Hmm. I'm a bit tired. So I think I'm probably just gonna chill at a cafe until I have to go meet my cousin. Found my cousin. Where are we going? Okay. I think we're going to the National Art Museum of Tokyo. And I'm sweating my balls off. It's so hot. So they got some doors. Ski. Do you like? Uh, of course. <laughs> Why not? I thought it was a hole in the canvas, but it's just painted really well. Where are we? Okay, we're at the Rick Owens um, signing thing. <laughs> I guess he hasn't been here in Japan for over like 20 years, so. My cousin's a really big Rick Owens fan, and you know, he's dripped out today. The shoes, the shoes are expensive. Probably like 200 people to maybe 300 people in line ahead of us. Um, so we're pretty positive about seeing him. I just, I'm literally wearing Costco. Like Costco flannel, Old Navy jeans, and everyone else here is probably wearing like $5,000 outfits. Waited three hours to wait, and another hour to wait. There's no way that took three hours long for us to get into. But overall, the experience is pretty cool. Would I wait three hours again? Probably not. Getting conveyor belt-ish sushi. So over here I have 
salmon because that's my favorite. Hamachi, amaebi, which is like sweet shrimp and maguro. And there's my cousin. He's also really, we're also, we're just really, really tired, I think. Yeah. Okay, so that was quite an eventful morning. Um, I currently dropped off my bag, my luggage, at the hotel. And I'm looking for a place to get lunch now. Um, for the most part, this area that I'm in, Ryogoku, is, seems to be pretty interesting. Uh, can't really tell what's a chain and like what's like local food. But I'm just gonna wander around and hopefully some, find something good to eat. It's also really, really, really windy. So my forehead looks horrible because I'm half of a receding hairline. Uh, tonkatsu place for lunch. You're like eating alone in Japan. I never ate alone in the States, so I think this is like a good stepping stone in a way because I always have usually someone to eat with or I eat home alone. So we'll see how it is. Okay, so this is the tonkatsu, which is like eight dollars. Um, the lady recommended to either use the sauce or the salt or the wasabi because apparently the pork is a little fattening. First bite, here we go. The crust is really, really good. I also haven't had salad in like three days and my body's like craving it, so pretty happy. I have checked into my hotel room, checked in at around three, um, made a few phone calls to friends and family, and this is my hotel room, and I'll be staying here for four days. I think I'm gonna go, uh, I'm gonna go with the glasses and head to an area that a lady recommended yesterday at the Rick Owens event, so here we go. Quick update, I still haven't found the place yet, um, but I'm in Shinjuku instead of Shibuya because that would have been another 20 minutes and I'm famished. So I was on that train with like a bunch of um, company employees at Kaishain and my butt was literally like touched by like a bunch of old men. I'm assuming the people who are probably going to be watching this um, know that I kind of hate drinking. But on the occasion that I do drink, I really enjoy eating pizza. So that's what a margarita pizza looks like in Japan. Um, this is about 10 bucks as well. I think I found it. Um, so we're in a really, really tight alleyway. Uh, and I'm trying to find a spot called Open Table, I think. And apparently they have really good lemon highballs or something. And last night was actually a lot of fun. Uh, couldn't take a lot of pictures or videos um, within the bars, but met a lot of really interesting people. Um, shout out to Maggie and Ten, I think. I have to double check their names. Um, there were these two 30-year-old British women uh, kind of like took me in as like a little brother and we just like hopped a lot of bars together. On the way home, so many drunk people on the street. It was kind of gross. Saw a few people throw up, um, a lot of people coughing. And yeah, um, and I think my hotel is a hot spring, so I'm gonna go to that and sweat my sins out. So the hotel provided this like weird dress. I don't know if this is like meant to be pajamas and quite honestly, they probably could be. But I'm gonna go to the hot springs just like this. Hopefully nobody looks at me weird. Yeah, I'm also wearing pants too because I feel like going underwear or commando wearing this is kinda, kinda playing in dangerous. So the hot springs were amazing. Um, for the most part, I love being in the hot tubs with uh, a bunch of naked old like Asian men, it's the greatest feeling in the world. Um, but I think he really like fulfills a question that I've been really pondering recently is like, what does it mean to be human? 
maybe being in a bathtub with a bunch of men, just not really giving a darn about like the outside world is, it's like a memory that fulfills like a definition, I don't know. But I'm currently in Akihabara. Basically all these people usually come here really like anime and I'm included. Um, I really want to be Gojo Sensei from JJK for Halloween, so hopefully I could find a costume of his somewhere here. Or maybe I'll go to a maid cafe for Nima. I'm gonna check out this place first. Um, oh no, not yet, okay. Never mind, reject. I kind of forgot that everything here opens up at 11, and it's currently 9.30, so I think I'm gonna work for like an hour and a half and then um, at this cafe, at the one place that's like actually open. Um, and yeah, and then from there on, I'm gonna find my Gojo costume. I won't lie, <laughs> did a bit of shopping, and then returned to the mall that none of the food courts were open at. Um, and this is what I got for lunch. So, came with a bowl of rice and nine pieces of um, fried chicken or karaage. And it was 990 yen, which is about like seven bucks, I think, in the US. So, prompt quick update I am in Shibuya. Uh, I'm waiting for a friend um, who's gonna take me to some fireworks show. And yeah, there's a lot of people here. So now I'm just gonna sit and wait till Noe comes and maybe talk to some strangers too, who knows. I slept about seven hours. Um, read some news. About to hit the hot tub or hot bath with a bunch of old naked men again. Woo! And I think I'm gonna go to Lopongi Hills. Um, I really want to try those like really jiggly pancakes. Okay, so I am currently in Lopongi, which. I think is best described as like the Beverly Hills of Japan. And I'm here on a mission to find really, really fluffy pancakes. So. Oh my god. So I waited about 30 minutes for this pancake. This is about like $12. Um, it comes with this like puree, maple syrup, ice cream, and like homemade whipped cream. And I'm super duper excited for it. I'm trying to break it. And look how fluffy the inside is. First bite, here we go. <coughs> Debatably the best pancake I think I've ever had in my life. And that's, wow. These dogs are so cute. I gotta see Kazu again. That's too long. Yeah. So Kazu took me to this um, famous tongue place, and we just got a salad. And I'm just like really, really happy to be with Kazu because I love Kazu. <laughs> so this is like beef tongue and pork and a bunch of other stuff. Is that egg? All right. So grab a bit of rice. <laughs> Start with rice. Yeah, start with rice. <laughs> this is the beef tongue. Yeah. First bite. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> oh, beef tongue is so good. It's like crispy. I should probably put some lemon on it. Salt it perfectly. Nice and chewy. This is good. Day five, jet lag is slowly getting better. I woke up at like six today. 
kind of just went on TikTok for like 30 minutes, but gonna hit the onsen. Mm, probably go to the fish market. Now to wait. Probably about like 15 minutes, and I think he'll be seated. So just gotta wait. This is about $20. Um, so I am headed off to Temple University, which is the school that um, Kazi from yesterday currently attends. And funny enough, I'm gonna meet um, one of the soccer managers from my junior year of high school who also goes there right now. So I'm currently at Savoy Pizza which is um, argued as one of the best pizza places in Tokyo. So I took like a 20 minute train and it looks amazing. Like you can see them making it by hand right in front of you. So this is what the margarita pizza looks like. Um, as you can see, it's like very, very simple. And I can't wait to get into it. First bite, here we go. So good. That was probably the best pizza that I've ever had in my life. Like, I finished this in less than five minutes. And it was hard savoring every moment of it and wanting to eat more. But I really want to get a second one, but I feel like probably too many calories for the day. But this Savoy is definitely the best pizza that I've ever had in my life, hands down. Okay, so it's officially day six of me being in Japan, and I'm gonna get naked with a bunch of old men for the last time. Um, because I have to check out uh, later today. Here's the view. Hopefully adjusted. Um... Yeah, I'm gonna meet up with my uncle and my grandpa because uh, they're helping my cousin move. So one thing that I didn't really know about Tokyo is that Tokyo has its own exit. So this is Tokyo exit. So I stumbled across a little hamburger joint or they sat me at the, the counter. So this is what my lunch looks like. Um, as you can see, there's like a little cabbage pile, daikon, daikon on top of the hamburger. And then we have some rice over here and a soup. Here's the food. First bite, here we go. For $9, this is really hard to beat. So I believe I am at the park, or no, the Imperial Castle. And I really like walking in nature, so um, if I find anything cool, I'll film it. I don't think there's a way to get inside, unfortunately. Just kind of just taking in the scenery a bit. And yeah, probably just gonna chill here for a bit. So I'm with the family right now, and we're in a really, really tight spot.